Police and fire brigade just pulled up. That was this week's news update. Back to Ashley in the studio. Hello, and today we have a very special guest, Alfred Deacon here, who will be talking to us about his part in the Australian Federation. Wow, thank you for that beautiful introduction, Ashley. That's okay. Now down to business. People have always wondered when one of Australia's Prime Minister's birthday is. Can you please tell us? Well, Ashley, in a matter of fact, I was born on a cold winter night in 1856 on the 3rd of August in Fitzroy, Melbourne, in a local church. Wow, that's very interesting. And I heard you were Prime Minister three times. Would that be right? That's sure right. I was in the Commonwealth Liberal Party once and then in the Protectionist Party twice. That's a lot of times of being Prime Minister. What was your occupation before you became Prime Minister? Well, I was a journalist and a great lawyer in many of my clients' opinion because I was a very persuasive person. So, Alfred, how was your childhood? Well, I had a very big passion for reading and I was very fond of books. My parents immigrated to Australia from England in 1849 because of the gold rush and I was born a couple of years later. Immigration means moving to another country. So, Alfred, do you have a family, like wife and kids? Well, I have three children. Vera Deacon, Ivy Deacon, and Stella Deacon. And I also have a lovely wife called Patty Brown. Wow, they must be very beautiful kids. So Alfred, here's the question we've all been waiting for. How were you involved in Federation or how did you take part? Well, as you may know, Federation is the joining of all of the colonies in Australia. As I said, I was a very persuasive person and I encouraged the Victorian people to vote, to vote for Federation in 1898. I also worked for the Federation movement with all the other colonies. I also had been given a very powerful position in the very first federal government. Federal government, government is someone in, in charge of the country, like Julia Gillard.